Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today it's the second Tinker transition. So basically like circles and stuff. So to make this, I have my logo here and two color clips that I loaded with projects at color clip. So on the bottom track, I'm gonna have my white color clip, in the middle one, my purple one, and then the top, my logo. Everything is gonna be shorter because you want it like one to two seconds long, you know, not too long, something like this maybe. Yes, and I will start with the white, so I'm just gonna hide the top layers. And so, since I want circles, I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna make a circle with alpha shapes. So drag it onto your clip, and now you have a rectangle, but you want a circle, so you just select ellipse. And I don't want tra any transition, so I'm gonna set that to zero, or maybe actually like one or two. Yeah. And I want my circle to be as big as possible, so in Y it's going to be 500, so that it touches the both of the sides. And so the um, sizing with alpha shapes is a bit weird, but basically I want um, 9 16th of 500, but I'm just going to eyeball it. So like this is not circle, this is not circle, somewhere in the middle is, you know, so I'm just going to try and find it. I could probably just do the math, but yeah. It seems okay. So I'm just actually gonna drag this same effect to the purple track and maybe even to my logo. I'm not sure, I might make it smaller for this one, but it's still gonna be basically the same thing. So still I'm gonna continue working on the white. I'm gonna add a transform effect, so you can just look for transform. Drag it onto your clip. So for my first frame, I want it to be really small, like one person small and in the center. Then maybe like, uh, I don't know how many frames is that, like 10 frames later, it's going to be really big, like filling the whole screen. So I'm just going to drag this size thing to the right until I can't see anything anymore, like here. Maybe even just a tiny bit more to be sure that we can't see anything. Then another keyframe towards the end and one for the last bit at 1% again. I'm gonna put them all to smooth. I could actually, I might uh, just change it um, automatically. So like here, it will be default is smooth now. Uh, I changed that so that it will be the same for the other ones. Uh, let's just watch it and see what it looks like. I think I have a centering problem. I'm just gonna make sure everything is centered. I don't know what happened. Okay, maybe the first one as well. Okay, I think it's okay. Let's watch it. Okay, that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna drop this a little so we can see it better. Okay, nice. So basically I'm gonna do the same thing for the second one, so I can actually just drop this, drag and drop it on the second track. Right now everything is gonna look purple, but I'm gonna change this keyframe so that it's smaller. Yeah, there's a centering problem. That's very weird. Okay, well, I want it actually bigger than this, but I just wanted to make sure. So like somewhere around here, maybe. Center. And so I'm at 155, so I'm just gonna do the same here. And center it as well. And now we have the two colors going together. I might, might actually want this even bigger, just so that um, it looks a bit more different from the purple one. Yeah, that's nice. And the last one is the logo. Um, so as I said, I might just change the alpha shapes a tiny bit so that it's a bit smaller. I'm just gonna change size X and size Y a little. Yeah, that looks good. And I'm just, again, gonna copy the transform because it's the easiest way. Except at the end, I don't want it that big. Maybe like 100 should be actually good. Maybe even a bit smaller. Yeah, like this, 75% and 75%. And let's see what that looks like. 
That's quite kind of nice. I think it's pretty good. Uh, I'm also gonna add a bit of um, sound effects because that always makes it sound better. I'm just moving it a tiny bit so that I have more room to put it at the beginning. Yes, and let's take an another one at the end, like here. Okay, let's watch this. Perfect. And so yeah, this is it. That's literally it. It's quite simple. So I hope you like it. Uh, if you want more info on how to use this in OBS, you can follow my last tutorial. Like the last part of this tutorial, I explained what I did. And that's all. Bye-bye.